you for taking the time to come to um, just, I guess, to the kind of the inaugural of the, the mural here in St. John. I thought I'd give a little bit of history as to how this came to be. Um, it was in 2019 when David Robinson came to my office knowing that Stafford County Economic Development owns this lot and, and had an idea of using this vacant space to paint a mural. And it so happened that we found that, that we could um, apply for a grant through the Kansas Creative Arts Industry Commission and um, double that contribution so that we would not only just be painting a mural but doing some other things like landscaping. And um, so it's taken a, a year and a half or so for this all to fully materialize. Um, as you well know, the mural was painted about a year ago um, and it really turned out to, I think, to be some really nice timing. I think that it was kind of one of those things where we needed something positive to happen in our town during the time of pandemic shutdown. So um, I think it's continued to be something that is is a positive um, development here. And while it's not necessarily the thing that we do day to day to to do, um, you know, art based projects, I think it's very fitting that economic development is very involved in in trying to do things that enhance our community and make this a great place to live and and enjoy um, life. So um, I thought with that, I would introduce Inga Oyula. She was um, the artist that a committee of people um, involved in this selected to um, to paint this mural. So I thought it would be nice for her to give a little bit of just the background of what, what inspired her to paint this particular scene. Hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, this is wonderful. There's so many folks here. I, yes, well, I, I'm just so, I'm so pleased to be able to do this mural for this town because everyone here that I have met are absolutely wonderful. And so this piece here, you see that the, um, there's a whole story through this whole piece. And I did a lot of details. And I had some young helpers of the Turner boys to help me get some little, you know, everything from the insects that they wanted to see in there, the plants, to um, the small animals. And so I, I try to make it fun for everyone to try to find the different things in the mural. Um, so when you look through there, there's little hidden little things in there. and. It's fun. It's fun for people to um, learn about the history, and it makes it more interesting. Um, but I was, I was just very pleased to be able to do this mural for this town. So, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. you very much. Yeah. Well. <laughs> as I mentioned, um, you know, this has been a project that kind of grew. Um, when we had the opportunity to, like I said, expand this, the scope of this project and, and apply for grant funding, that kind of begged the idea of involving a, a group of uh, representatives from around the town. And so we had a committee that um, kind of defined the scope of what this would portray. There was, um, you know, an initial vision to tell the story of what, what the founding of St. John was. Um, and we worked with the worked with Inga to kind of refine how that would really look. Um, the people on that committee included David Robinson, Carol Long, Amber Turner, Pam Turner, Brian Brown, Mackenzie Hacker, Damian Rios, and Destiny Talbot. So I want to thank them for that. Um, well, for their contribution. <laughs> But the work didn't end there. We have been um, kind of uh, shaping this for over a year now. And when I think of the different people that have contributed to that in so many ways, it includes the mural committee, um, Pam and Amber, and I think they've pulled in a lot of their family in this, have put a lot of hours into it. David um, Robinson certainly has. and. Um, in addition, I would like to, to um, highlight 
others that have put a lot of labor into this, including Caleb Krankenberg, um, our interns from last summer, Devin Wilson, Hannah Ward, Eliza Lawrence, and Lizzie Baker, Ashley Bevan, my family's not excluded, Brian Dunn, Ian Dunn, Preston Dunn, and Garrett Dunn. We're all here helping put the limestone, um, or the, the crushed lime pathway. Chris Mansell, Chase Mansell, Clayton Redarmel, Trey Turner, um, has done a lot of behind the scenes, including assembling benches, as has Tom in helping us keep the, the get the grade um, correct here. Rita Schartz has helped us with plants, and Donna Thornburg has um, lent skid steer in various supplies when needed. So I want to thank all of those people as well. Bench sponsors include Stafford County Drug. Um, in memory of Don and Jeannie Fisher and Alice Roth, um, Lockridge and Laura Hasse. We have an anonymous sponsor of a picnic table which is on order but a lot of things seem to be on back order right now and it's not here yet but will arrive later this summer. And um, with that I'd like to ask all of those that I highlighted as, as contributing your your uh, blood, sweat, and tears to this. If you could please come forward, we'd like to cut the ribbon. And Kathleen. And Kathleen Norman is not um, excluded from this too. She came to start working for us in, um, in December and has certainly helped a lot with this too. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> this we took maybe half an hour to talk through kind of left to right the whole detail of the mural she's really put a lot of thought into specific plants that are in here specific animals um, you'll find that there's probably a, a few faces on the mural that are inspired by actual citizens living here today and um, <laughs> so so that's kind of fun to listen to that in, in more detail if you're interested it's on our website the, um, the, the location is here on the mural. Uh, it's staffordecodevo.com backslash mural. And um, if you're into QR codes, that makes it easy to find exactly how to go watch that video. So, um, but thank you very much everyone for coming today. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs>